the flux picture of the electrostatic force, the force due to charges and charge distributions, says that the flux of a charge Q is 4 pi kq. More specifically, what it says is that if a surface, any surface at all, spherical or otherwise, encloses a charge Q, then the net electrostatic flux through the surface has to be 4 pi kq. Q is the total charge enclosed by the surface. This is the flux through the surface. Um, if the electric field happens to be uniform over the surface and also perpendicular to the surface at every point, the flux has to be E times A. Now the preceding uh, demonstration should have at least partially convinced you that the electric field at the surface of a sphere that contains a single point charge at its center has to always be perpendicular and is uniform over the surface by a symmetry argument. It's also true by Coulomb's law. We can argue it either way, from symmetry or from Coulomb's law, and you should understand both points of view. Uh, they're completely equivalent, compatible, and understanding the equivalence is uh, very important for really understanding the nature of electrostatic forces. Now, I think I forgot to mention that I think I digressed there, but in every case uh, where the field is uniform and perpendicular, the flux is equal to the electric field times the area. For the sphere with a point charge at the center, we know that the electric field is kq over r squared and that the area of the sphere is 4 pi r squared. If we multiply the Coulomb's law kq over r squared by the area of the sphere, 4 pi r squared, we get 4 pi kq. Now we require the techniques of multivariate calculus to show that this is true for any surface, although there's a certain intuitive sense to it to show it with mathematical rigor requires uh, something beyond the scope of this course, but we're going to simply accept that this is the fact. So if we have a sphere with a charge in the center, uh, the electric field is radial from the center, so it's perpendicular to the surface. It's also uniform, kq over r squared at every point of the surface. Again, we could make an equivalent symmetry argument to show that it's radial and constant on the surface. Uh, but the flux for the sphere is 4 pi kq e times a. The 4 pi r squared times the kq over r squared gives us the 4 pi kq. This flux picture is completely equivalent to Coulomb's law.